Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you to a thrift store with me. And at the end of the video, I'll show you what I brought home and how I'm using some of the items. Here we go. I love to go thrifting, mostly for myself and for home decor. But occasionally I also pick up items for a little booth that I have in a vintage shop called the Pink Elephant Vintage in Hopkins, Minnesota. The thrift store I was in on this day is called Bethesda Thrift and it's a charity thrift shop and they always have a good purse wall. Now I'm not currently in the market for a new bag, but I always like to check just to see if there's anything interesting for myself or for my shop. If you like thrifting, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will try to take you thrifting at least once a week here on my channel. This thrift store tends to have really neat vintage furniture. I saw this school desk and in a little bit you'll see another school desk. I just think they're so cool. I don't have anywhere in my home to put one right now, but I do really like them. Maybe someday. I thought this trunk was really pretty. I liked the contrast of the hardware with the lighter wood. I really liked this wood side table with the, I don't even know what to call the leg on it, kind of like a pedestal type of leg. I've seen dining tables with this type of leg, but never a side table, so I thought that was interesting. This store always has holiday shelves for each holiday, like a holiday aisle actually for each holiday. But on this particular day, they had really restocked their Christmas shelves. So that was super fun for me. I was enjoying looking at all the Christmas items. I thought these Santa hobby pieces were really cute and not a bad price at $3.99 each. They're very large pieces. I really liked this Christmas oil lamp, but I did not want to spend $5.99 on it. I always try to look at a shelf at least twice and it's a good thing because I almost missed this little Santa candle snuffer. So cute.
I thought this collectible plate was really pretty and would be nice in winter decor. I thought these bowls on the next shelf were really cool. There was also little bread plates, I think. They look to me like restaurant wear, but every single one of them that I picked up had a tag right over the mark. I don't know why they do that. So anyway, if you know what those are, let me know because I'm curious to know if they are restaurant wear. I checked out the gravy boats because I told you I've been picking up gravy boats for my shop because apparently they sell now. It's all an experiment. I haven't actually sold one yet. So we'll see if by the end of, you know, November if they've actually sold or not. And then I'll pick up more for next year. Loved all of these cherry items. If I didn't collect strawberry things, I would probably collect cherry things, but no room for another fruit. But I did think they had some really nice pieces. They're not vintage, but they're cute. some depression glass here. I'm only adding to my collection pieces that can fit into my little cubbies that you might have seen on Instagram. So plates don't fit in that category. Sure someone will be very happy to find those. I'm pretty sure they're uranium glass. These are some federal glass cups. Not much of a market on these at my shop, but I know they sell for people on Etsy, but I don't sell on Etsy, so left those behind. I thought this was a really interesting gravy boat design. It had a bamboo motif, but it almost looked like a big ladle that you would kind of hold by that handle and then pour out the side. I don't know, it was just like a little bit of a twist on the regular gravy boat design. I like vintage juicers, so I'm always drawn in by them. They're just kind of interesting to look at. I don't want to start another collection, but I do think they're really neat. loved this Corningware pie plate. I've actually never seen this piece before. And these Blue Willow salad servers caught my eye. They were $3 a piece. Another piece of depression glass. This is a rarer color. Loved it because I love the blue. But again, I'm not collecting depression glass, so I did not take that home. I thought this was a fun little piece. I think it's made to hold like a sponge and soap maybe.
Okay, so I hope that was fun. I always enjoy going into that little thrift store. The people are very nice. I think Bethesda is like a chain thrift store because I think I've been to one in Wisconsin at least. So um, maybe, I don't know if it's like a Midwest chain or what, but if there's one by you, um, check it out. They always have nice, nice things. They do good things for the community. So good place to shop. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, mm, I'm drinking my lime water again. I told you guys about that the other night, the other day. And this one is in my thrifted glass. I think I found this at the bins, remarkably. I'm always amazed when glassware isn't broken. But I'm like, oh, this was put here for me. It's New Jersey. And it's kind of vintage because some of the things on here, like, don't really like they don't exist anymore. I don't think there's the New Jersey Nets anymore. I don't think that's a team anymore, is it? I don't remember. Anyway, but lots of different things on there related to New Jersey, but I'm dating it because it says New Jersey Nets and I'm pretty sure the Nets have moved to New York and it's like the Brooklyn Nets or something. I'm totally probably wrong, but I think they've moved out of New Jersey. So they would no longer be on a New Jersey glass. So let's go ahead and check out what I got. It's actually a lot of Christmas stuff. So I'll show you the two. It is um, mostly for me. I did get one thing for the shop, but I'll put it in the shop at Christmas time. And then two things that aren't Christmas. And I will show you those in place. So, okay. So this is the first thing I got. I think this is just adorable. It's, it reminds me, it's like akin to the moss bunnies that I love at Easter time. So this is a, an evergreen reindeer. I think it's so cute. And I paid $3.99 for it. Oh, my total was $24, by the way. So I got that little cutie. And then along the same lines, this is for crafting. Remember, um, if you watch my home and garden channel, I went to some stores like two weeks ago looking for Christmas greenery to make some Christmas crafts because you actually need to start crafting for Christmas now just because the stuff comes out and then it's gone by the time like actual Christmas time comes around. So I try to do my Christmas crafting ahead of time. And so I was looking for Christmas picks, could not find any, but I thought ah, I could just cut this up with my wire cutter. Real pretty, $3.99. That's probably what I would have paid for like one pick. So, oh, and you know, it has like a nice pine cone on it and some berries. So that is gonna work really well for one particular craft I have in mind. Okay, and then I got two of these. One of them is going to be for the shop. So this one is for the shop. This one's newer, I think. You can tell it's like a different kind of ceramic. This one looks more like a chalk wear plaster kind of piece. Um, it's got the old kind of hanger on it. They're the same like mold. Oh, I'll break it. This one is chipped, but I just like, I like the painting on this better. I like the white on his hat better. Uh, this one has a totally red hat. I mean, you know, it's cute too. So I'm gonna put this one in my shop and keep this one for me. Um, the damage is down on his beard. There it is. I can't really point it out, but you can kind of see it down here in the corner, see that? And they were $3.99 a piece, which for such a large piece is a really good deal. And I think that'll be super cute in one of my Christmas displays. You know, I love Santa Claus. Okay. Oh, I was wrong. I have three things that aren't Christmas. All right. Then I got this, which I'm so excited to work on. It's Charles Wysocki, Wysocki Holidays. And yeah. I just think it's really cool patterns. Really like it. Really like them. There's a stocking. I'm going to do this one, I think. That's the one I'm going to work on. So I'm excited about that. And I got this to go. Oh, and that was 99 cents. Yeah, 99 cents. And then I got this to go in a Christmas display. It was also 99 cents. I mean, it's just like, you know, not valuable or anything, but I think it's really cute. It's a, I think it's a, Norman Rockwell would be my guess. Yeah, well, oh, well, I don't know if it's a Norman Rockwell, but it's Norman Rockwell style and it says copyright 1957, the Coca-Cola company. So this is a reproduction of an advertisement that was done in 1957. So I thought that was really cute. Okay, and two more Christmas things. I got this, the snowman candle snuffer. 
I love it. Oh my goodness. It's really heavy. Like very, very heavy. I'm like, is it lead? I don't know. <laughs> it was only 99 cents, but extremely heavy. And I think it's gonna be really cute sitting on a shelf. I'll probably sit it on a shelf near my other candle snuffers, which I will show you in a minute. Cause I also got this one. This was $1.99. It almost looks like pewter or something. I thought that was cool. You know, I look for ones that have the hanging thing, although I'm no longer displaying them on my little hooks. I've put, I've, one of you suggested that I put them into a pitcher and you can have them all kind of up like this and they kind of look like flowers. So I'm actually going to show you that. I'll insert some footage here of how I'm now displaying my collection of these and it leaves a lot of room to get a lot more. So that's really fun. So, ooh, almost broke something. So, all right, we'll insert that footage here. Here's where I've tucked my little candle snuffer. I think this was just a great idea that someone gave me to put them in a pitcher. They kind of look like little flowers. I just think it's adorable. So this is the new one right there. And plenty of room to have a big bouquet of candle snuffers. Cute, cute, cute. I forgot one more Christmas thing. And this was $1.99. There was only one of them, but I just thought it was so cute. It's a candle holder, but it's a bell. I thought that was adorable. So adorable. So maybe I'll be able to find another one. Who knows? So love that for $1.99. Okay, now, so I showed you the one thing that's not Christmas. Here's another thing that's not Christmas, and I will show you this in place. I love these little crocs. I have one and these are great on tiered trays. They're just a nice little piece of decor. You can store stuff in them. They're very like well sealing. Usually like cheese products came in these. Um, I don't plan to store anything in it. I just like the way that they look, but you definitely could if you wanted to. So got that and that was $1.99. Let me insert the footage here of where I'm using this. Here's where I tucked my cheese croc. I know a lot of people don't like to have decor on top of their fridge, but you know, to each his own. I love to have a little bit of country decor up here that's like kitchen related. So I've got my, these I actually use, that's a Hazel Atlas measuring cup. And it's just a little tin aluminum, I guess it's aluminum one. And I just thought the cheese crock looked really cute there with playing off the brown in my little tool there and in my little syrup bottle. Thought it was cute here for fall and the last thing i got is this i think it was probably for coffee because well it's um it's anchor hawking has the mark there and the lid has markings on it oh, yeah two four and six ounces so i'm guessing like you'd store coffee in here and use the lid to measure for your making your pots of coffee i don't know but i think it's adorable i'm not sure where i'm going to put it yet but i just really like the jar and with the brown lid it'll be nice for fall I, maybe i'll put some a food product in here candies i don't know what do you think i should put in there brown sugar i don't know i really don't know but it is really cute and i just didn't want to leave it behind so so that one, I will not be inserting any footage. I'm just not sure where I'm going to put it yet. So that's it. That is my $24 haul uh, from Bethesda. And I hope this was enjoyable. Um, I hope you're having a great week. Well, it's only Monday. I hope your week is off to a good start. I was originally going to film this like right after the other one that I filmed the other day. And then the day just got away. So it's currently Sunday night. And hopefully I will get this edited for you by tomorrow evening, Monday evening. So until my next video, thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye.